Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a game between Capablanca and Mona Carf. This game was played in New York in 1941. Capablanca had white pieces and he started with e4. Mona Carf played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to c3, knight to c6, and now g3. Capablanca goes for the king's Indian attack. Knight to f6, bishop to g2, d6, d3, bishop to g4, attacking the queen, knight to f3, knight to d4, Mona goes aggressive from the start. h3, asking a question, knight takes on f3, check, bishop takes on f3, bishop takes on f3, queen takes bishop, e5, bishop to g5, bishop to e7, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Would you consider taking on f6 or not? Capablanca played bishop takes on f6. Bishop takes on f6. Who is better? Well, white is better. Black dark squared bishop is a bad bishop. And white knight is much better piece than the bishop, especially when it comes to d5. Rook to c8, c4. Perhaps castling should have been considered. Never mind. c4 is not a bad move. Queen to a5, check. King to f1, rook to c6. Knight takes on f6. G takes on f6, queen takes pawn on f6, attacking the rook, rook to g8, white is a pawn up, and black really has no compensation for a lost pawn. Queen to f3, if king to g2, rook to g6, queen to f3. So, queen to f3, the queen must come back to help defending. Rook to b6, queen to e2. If b3, then rook takes on b3, and if a takes on b3, queen takes on a1. So we have queen to e2, queen to b4, b3, rook to a6, king to g2, queen to a5, intending b5, rook from h to f1, intending f4, b5, f4. If the e-file opens, then black king is dead. e takes on f4, rook takes on f4, b takes on c4, it is white to move. Who would expect that this is the critical position of the game? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find Capablanca's move? D takes on c4. Not the best move. Let's take it back. B takes on c4 is better. e5 is also winning. Back to our game. What is wrong with d takes on c4? Mona Carf played queen to c3 with a double attack. Let's take it back. If b takes on c4, then after queen to c3, white can play rook from a to f1, easily winning for white. Back to our game. After d takes on c4, we have queen to c3. How to defend against the both threats? How would you defend the rook and the pawn on g3? Would you play queen to e1? Well, the best defense is a bit tricky. The best move in this position is rook to g4. And the game would be about equal. One line goes like this. Rook takes on g4. Queen takes on g4. Queen takes rook on a1. Queen to c8 check. King to e7. Queen takes rook and it is about equal. Back to our game. 
Queen to e1. Defense against both threats. But this move has a tiny, tiny downside. What is it? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause or did you find black? Play the move in white resigned. Believe it or not. And the move is... Are you ready to see the move? The move is... Kaboom! Check! What a killer move! Capablanca resigned. If king goes to h1, then rook takes rook, winning white queen. And let's go back. If rook takes rook, then queen takes queen. That is why Capablanca resigned in this position. How to explain this loss? Well, Mona was not just a pretty face. She was seven times United States champion. And this was a simul. Capablanca played on 22 boards. As for Mona's fans, they expected her to beat Capablanca in a simul. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.